so today we are going to discuss about software testing techniques with examples okay so every kind of testing we should have some techniques so to implement the techniques we should have some test cases okay so why this testing technique has to be required for us means it has to reduce the number of test cases executed which are repetitively and increasing the test coverage okay so what are all the testing techniques boundary value analysis equivalence partitioning decision table based testing state transition error guess okay so boundary value analysis equivalence partitioning decision table based testing straight transition error guess okay so team these three boundary value analysis equivalence partition error guessing so whenever if you are attending for any interview definitely you will get a question on these three okay so you can see the name right boundary value analysis so what does it means anyone sir uh, it is a process of uh, checking the behavior of the system at the uh, boundaries uh, okay. there will be, there will be set of uh, inputs uh, uh, which uh, user will be uh, finding out from the uh, specified uh, condition of the uh, particular okay. test uh, uh, item okay so simply we can say that see if you are, if you are uh, playing a cricket there should be some boundary right hello yes sir so if the ball go out of the boundary so what is the score we will get okay if the ball goes by rolling over the boundary what score we will get okay if the ball goes without hitting by bat going by wire how many runs will get so it will be based on the limitations okay we will get over this right similarly what does this boundary analysis will do us it will test the maximum minimum and inside and outer boundaries typical values and error values i would like to give an example for this okay so suppose if you are entering into the lift so what ways you can analyze that one if you are going into a inside a lift so what things you need to do what how many scenarios you will cover for that so you will test it so what is the last floor of this lift will go what is the minimum i mean down which floor it will go okay so suppose if i press 1 and 5 so which floor it will go first suppose if i give 5 and 2 which floor it will go down first okay what is the maximum weight of the lift suppose they will keep it as 800 kg if i exceed 810 what will happen suppose if we reduce only 10 kg what will happen so it will comes within a box right hello hello sir yes sir you understand right my point so within a box you need to test it the maximum value minimum values inside and outside boundary values right so it has to be cover the entire scenario of a system from maximum to minimum so that is called boundary value analysis okay what are all the guidelines of boundary value analysis suppose if a input condition restricted with the values of x and y so that test case should be designed with x and y so it has to be something like if you have minimum value the output should be minimum if you have the minimum maximum value the output should has to be maximum if it is not matching with the condition then the system will be get fail okay suppose if you have press in the lift first floor but it is going to the 10th floor is it a error or not okay suppose if you have go to fifth floor you have clicked on first third floor 
unfixed floor. So where it has to go initially? It has to go to the floor. Right. So what is the first thing to do when it has to take that one? Right. Yes. So in these parameters, like how we are testing in the lift. Okay. Similarly, in the software program or application also, we need to test what are the boundary values. I would like to give an example for this. Okay. So in the login, when you are creating a credentials for any application or something, they will give some characteristics limit, right? Hello? Yes. Yes. Okay. 67 suppose, characters. suppose if your password length should be some minimum 16 characters or 32 characters. You need to test within the limit, right? So in that limit, you need to try with the different combinations. You need to give a special characters or you need to give the numbers or you should give some crazy combination. Caps on something like that. So if you give a limit, suppose if we are there giving 10 characters. So in the 10 characters, you need to provide. Okay. If you exceed more than 10 characters, it should not allow. If it allows, then it is an issue, right? Yes, sir. So you need to think like that and you need to know what is your boundary limits. So you, you need to test within the limit. So in the limit, you need to test up to maximum to minimum. So while testing this only, it will come to your load testing and stress testing also. Okay. I will tell this in later. Okay. Now, equivalence partitioning. So what does it mean? What is the heading means? Can anyone partition doing equal equal partitions partition. will be done so for valid and invalid inputs? You need to test the application, but you need to segregate. You need to divide it. Okay. So based on the priorities and things, you need to segregate and you need to test it thoroughly and you need to make the system robust. Okay. So equivalent class partitions. One second, please. Yeah, sorry, Tim. So, equivalent class partition means it allows you to divide the set of conditions into a partition, which should be considered the same. Okay, so it divides what is your input, what is your output. Okay, so each class should be has to be equal. Suppose if you are testing for login functionality, you should have to be focused on only login. Suppose if you are testing in the path functionality, you need to focus on path. Suppose if you are testing on Logout, you need to focus on logout. Suppose if you are testing on payment, payment only. Okay. So you can see the example for this. See, the input conditions are 1 to 10 and 22 to 30. So how can we divide this one? So 0, 1 to 10, 11 to 19, 20 to 30, 31 to 40. So you can divide it as 1 to 5, 5 to 10, 15, like so. It's Dividing the test cases, dividing the functionalities, dividing the features, testing the functionalities thoroughly, what is the condition, what is the input values on, what is the output we need to give. So that is called equivalence class partition. Is it clear? Sir, it while... Uh, yeah. yes, sir. While dividing it, uh, we have any limitations like we should uh, keep these many numbers including like yeah. minimum so, fives good question. at least so, one from each uh, partition that limitations will be addressed in the requirement of it. got it yes sir. so now this is the decision table testing so this decision table testing is also known as pass effect table if you see the table then only you can understand this okay so you can see right rule one rule two rule three rule four rule six right so name email message output submit so 
So enlist the role. See, a decision table is also known as pass effect table. The software testing is used for functions which respond to combination of inputs or events. So you can see right, name is the input, email, okay, message. So you are need to test the cross combination scenarios. Okay, so while testing the cross combination of scenarios, whether the functionality is working fine or not. If it is working fine, then we need to put it as a true. If it is not working fine, then you need it as false. Okay, so this decision table makes the test cases how much scenarios it has covered with the different different combinations. Okay, so these things mostly take over by the team leads okay next straight transition okay so some people are sometimes they will call it as a retry logics also this one uh, anybody wants to give an example for this by seeing this block diagram this is this we can we are using in every day day to day like every one hour every Two minutes, five minutes. We are doing this type. Mobile phone. Pin. Yes. Yes. Okay. You are entering the pin, right? If you are entered for the first try, correct pin, you will get access. Second try, correct pin, you will get access. Third try, even though if you give correct pin, granted access. If you are given more than three times, what will happen? Account is blocked. Account is blocked for 30 seconds and you need to try it. Similarly, if you go for uh, ATM card pin, if you have given the first try, your uh, pin, your card will be work fine, right? Yes, sir. Okay. <laughs> Suppose in the second attempt, the first attempt got failed, no problem. Okay. Second attempt you tried. If you given correct pin, it will provide access, right? Yes, sir. Third attempt, even though in the third attempt also, if you given correct pin, it will take. In case if you have failed in the third attempt, what will happen to your bank card? Next, next to 24 to hours, hours will... it will be blocked, right? Yes. yes. Why it has to be blocked and why it has to be designed like this? Security, security. Security, purpose. security purpose. If you have not created this security levels, then easily that might be possible of getting hacking, right? Yes, okay. So how the architectures design the system? Simply architectures with the design the system, but that security design system also has to be tested by whom? Testers only, right? Yes, sir. You need to test it, right? Yes, yes sir. sir. So if you are not tested for that, then what will happen? Anytime it security can break or uh, breaches, right? Security breaches will happen, right? Yes, sir. See, uh, when you are entering the OTP also, if you entered uh, first time OTP, some other OTP, it will hold on there within the limit, some 30 seconds or some, some 15 seconds or some 30 seconds. If the time exceeds, then what will happen? Again, it will go to home page, right? You have entered the wrong thing. So it will give some saturation time for you to enter the time limit, right? Like that. Okay. This is called state transition. Retry logic. Okay. I will give one simple example. So everybody is having uh, know how to drive the bike, right? Yes, sir. Okay. Everybody is know how, how to drive the bike, right? So by, when you turn on your keys, not with the self okay just go with the self okay so if the if you press the self button first time it won't start what you will do you will try again again right okay again third time also it won't work what you will do again you will try okay so third time also self start not started then fourth time what you will do you will keep a full stand and try to do with kick start right Yes. yes, sir. Okay, even though with kickstart three attempts not done, then what you will do? You will just open the petrol tank and flow some air, try to get the air block. Okay, even though it won't work out, then what you will do? You will go to the mechanic, right? 
Yes. Yes, sir. So what happens to your system? What happens to your bike? So your bike is blocked, right? Yes, sir. Is it completely blocked? No. No. Up to some certain period. So like how the mechanic repaired that one? Up to that one, it got blocked, right? Yes, sir. Similarly, this straight transition table or straight transition technique is also the same thing. It is simple like that, retrain logic. Is it clear? Yes. Yes. Sir. Okay. And this is the main thing. Error guessing. So guessing things. Okay. Suppose uh, I would like to give an example for this. So, have you ever tried like this? Yes. Book my show, okay? In book my show, for a, for a user, how many tickets it will allow for you to book for one time? Yearly 10. 10 tickets? Yes, sir. 10 tickets, huh? Tickets. Ten tickets or two tickets or six tickets. Six, I guess. Six, sir. Six, I guess. Six. Six, okay. six. Okay. Okay. Good. Suppose if you have booked six tickets in one time, suddenly I called you. Okay, Nishant, I called you. And Nishant, I also want to go to the movie for same time, same theater, which was next to your seat. Is it possible to book? Have you ever tried this? After booking of six tickets, sir, I can book another ticket. With another user ID, we have to book the ticket. I don't know. I, I never try this. Okay. Similarly, you you are most familiar with. Uh, it happens in uh, IRCTC, sir. Yeah. Uh, one more example I will I would like to tell on this. So you are much more familiar with food delivering apps, right? Swiggy and Zomato. Yes. So yes, in uh, I will uh, I will tell one condition. Okay, have you ever tried this or not? See, suppose I want to uh, book the food for myself. I went to the menu. I went to the selected one hotel. I selected one item, and I did the payment with online. Okay, the food was ordered immediately. Sujita has asked me, uh, sir. Uh, I also want. Uh, some food, uh, so from my area, no any hotels are there, can you order for myself? So immediately, within two minutes or three minutes of time, is it possible for me to uh, order mm -hmm. for some other person? Yes, sir, we can order, yes, sir, we can order it. That coupon code will be not applied. Yeah, we can order it. Okay, in earlier days, when the Swiggy and Jamato has came earlier, there is no option for to order in certain time. Okay. Two hours, sir. Minimum one to two okay. hours. And there is no option for those who are in from different places. See, now I am from my native time. If I know the Nishant uh, house, home, address and location perfectly, I can order for him from here only. Yes, yes. Right? earlier it was not possible. Earlier it was not there. Okay, so one more example. Okay. In the e-commerce Yeah, sorry. So I would like to give one more example. Okay. So uh, in the e-commerce site like Flipkart, Amazon, Intra, you are also familiar with that one, right? Right. So yes, you have selected a product. So for particular one user, what is the maximum limit for that user to add a product?
Hello. No idea, sir. Have we ever tried this? No, sir. I guess no limit. In the, in the money money things, uh, I had faced one time in uh, Mintra. Okay. These type Beyond 50K, of, it was not taken. So these type of scenarios which has to be comes to your mind. Okay, why I could not test like this? Why I could not try this? Okay, so there might be chance for you to identify defects for these scenarios, right? Am I yes. right or not? Yes. So yes. in this way, you need. I will show one real time example. Okay. So uh, you understood, right? What are the testing techniques? Hello. Yes. Sir. Yes. Sir. yes sir. See, boundary value analysis, equivalence partitioning, decision table, state transition. Error guess. Clear to all, right? Yes, sir. Okay. Nice. 